So house prices are falling, so it's never been more important to make sure you secure the very best estate agent to sell your property. So in this video, I'm gonna cover five ways to avoid getting ripped off by your estate agent. Let's go. Now it's a really sad fact that 86% of people don't trust estate agents. Now I am one, so that hurts my feelings, but cue the abuse in the comments below. I'm sure we'll get plenty of them. But here's the thing, 14% of people do trust estate agents. So what's the difference there, right? I think it's because people aren't doing the right things to choose the trustworthy estate agents. So in this video, I'm gonna break down five ways that you can avoid getting ripped off by a dodgy estate agent. Now stick with me on this, because at the end of this video, I'm gonna share a bonus tip, which most people won't do, but if you do do it, it will mean that you choose the very best estate agent. So tip number one, this is a really big one, right? Because you're gonna have estate agents come around to your house to, you're gonna ask them to give you advice on how to get the best price for it and ultimately give you an idea on the value. So the really important thing here is that you make sure that the agent is delivering you evidence-based advice and not opinion-based advice. In a market where we are right now, prices are falling, interest rates are high. Out of 100 estate agents, 50% of them are gonna think the market's gonna be okay and they'll be really overly positive potentially. And 50% of them are gonna be quite negative minded about the market. The only sure thing about that is that you're not gonna know and no one's gonna know which one of those two agents are right about the future because it hasn't happened yet. So the important thing to make sure is that they're delivering you evidence-based advice from looking at recent sold properties locally, market competition, if there's a house that you're gonna be competing against but it's been reduced three times and they're suggesting you go on the market higher than them and it still hasn't sold, you have to make sure that the advice that they're giving you is evidence-based, not just opinion. Some agents will say, oh, I think you can put it on the market at 600,000 and you're gonna be like, oh wow, great, I thought it was only worth 550, thanks, sign me up. But the problem there is that 600,000, if it's just an opinion of a person, you've got no real evidence as to if that's reasonable or it's overpricing it, or it's underpricing it, you have to make sure that the advice that you take decisions off the back of is evidence-based. And that moves us very nicely into tip number two, is don't sign a long tie-in contract. So typically, estate agents are gonna ask you to sign for 12, 14, 16, sometimes 21 weeks. Once you've signed that bit of paper, you're bound to that estate agent for that period of time, whether they deliver on their promises, whether they give you good service, whether their marketing's good, whether they bring you any viewings at all or any offers, you're stuck to them. It's called a sole agency agreement. So the best way to avoid getting trapped into one of those is to just don't sign one. You have to insist and push back and say, look, I'm not signing a long contract. Happily, I'll give you four weeks rolling. And if in that time you haven't impressed me, then I wanna be able to find another estate agent. You're not saying I have to sell it in four weeks, you're just saying I don't wanna commit for 12, 16, 21 weeks. Don't get trapped into one of those what I call license to be lazy, because we deal with so many clients who are stuck in them contracts, getting no real interest, no level of service, they wanna get out of them, but then if they do, they're gonna pay two estate agency fees. The agent may be us that they move to, but also the agent who had them sign that long, horrible contract. All right, so there's part one of how to avoid getting ripped off by your estate agent. I hope you find it helpful. Leave a comment below, like the video, and in part two, I'm gonna be sharing the other three tips, but also a bonus tip, which you're not gonna to wanna to miss. So subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and I'll see you there.